guys can see me. That sun back there. Welcome back, guys. Uh, we just finished up a video yesterday out on Diamond Lake in Catsopolis, Michigan. Uh, did really well. We limited out uh, 50 crappie uh, and nothing under 12 inches. Everything was 12 to 14 inches. So uh, you probably have already seen that video if I haven't put it out already. If not, you'll see it soon. Uh, just an awesome day of fishing. So, uh, based on my last video where I asked you guys what you wanted to see, uh, it was overwhelming that you guys wanted to see the catch to catch video. So that's what I'm doing. It is early Saturday morning, May 2nd. Uh, I'm heading out of the County Road 17 uh, at the launch of the river, St. Joe River. Water temperature is 56.1 degrees. I don't really like to go after spring catfish so it's over 55 so that's a good temperature. I'm not sure if we're going to do good today but I uh, I got a feeling we're going to get some big catfish. So uh, first step is we're going to go up here to this channel. I'll show you on a map here where we're going and uh, we're going to go up in this channel with some waxworks bobbers. Pretty simple setup. Uh, try to fill live well with some bluegills. And then I'm going to load the boat back up and we're going to head up to uh, Berrien out of Shamrock Park and uh, hit up the log jams. I'll show you more when I get there exactly how I do that. Uh, and hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Catch to catch. Here we go, baby. Starting off with our Lanthorn set up. I like to put two on because I'm kind of gluttonous like that. Pretty easy. Check up my shore wall and see what happens. Alright, got some action by me. That one. Perfect size. I'll let that one have a little bit. This is exactly what we're looking for. Perfect cut bait for catfish. The perfect size cut bait. Another one. A little decent gill. It's a really nice gill. Really nice gill. Got an eight incher. We put in a couple hours out on the river here and uh, got some cut bait. So I'm going to show you what we got going on. That's all we need. So now I'm going to load up, uh, get the boat ready, go pick up my fishing partner. And we're going to head out to Berrien Springs, find some log jams, cut these bluegills up, put them on big circle hooks, and hopefully show you guys some big catfish so stay tuned catch to catch part one's over all right guys we're back this is part two of the catch to catch uh, we made it out on a, I made it out on a Berrien stretch of the St. Joe River uh, just got set up here on a little 
on a little eddy here, uh, a little current break, and we're trying to hit that log jam right back there. Uh, you can see up in here all the flat water. And right now we're just trying to get the boat set uh, so that we can put our lines right back into that log jam. So we're gonna use this cut bluegill we caught earlier in the video, and then we're just gonna drop them right back in that log jam and see if we can't pull a cat out of there. So stay tuned, let's see if we can get one hooked up. All right, take a quick second to show you our setup here. We're running this big, uh, I wanna say this is a two out or one out circle hook, Palmar knot. We run about a 18 to 24 inch leader. We're running 25 pound big game barrel swivel and then I like to run these flat weights I know a lot of guys like to run diamond weights and different drop weights uh, on the sliders I just like this flat weight I like the way it lays the current doesn't push it around but I'm running a two ounce and it's current it's pretty strong as you can see it's flooded today um, so this is the setup and then all we're gonna do we're gonna take one of these bluegills right here we're simply gonna cut this bluegill in this case, I'm gonna run the head section. Just like that. And then I do like to cut off the pins. And we're gonna hit that guy. Right through the mouth. Just like that. And that's it. So we're gonna put that back in the current and we're gonna try to get that close to that log jam so it starts sending that scent down through there. Right about there, it's perfect. All right, spin our scouties. kind of show you guys what I'm doing my setup here um, as you can see be behind me here all I'm doing is hopping down this river bank from log jam to log jam and putting out these bluegill in a spread um, the first fish I got was on a tail section so you got to pay attention to that because uh, sometimes uh, they're more prone to the head or tail or midsection um, so I've got all three uh, rods set up with body sections now and uh, we Go to a log jam, we cast out, we let it sit there 15, 20 minutes. Uh, that's it. This isn't a huge waiting game. I know a lot of people say, well, catfishing, you gotta sit and wait and wait. The current's doing the work. So when I put these bluegill out on the bottom, uh, it's sending it back. And these catfish are like giant tongues. So they're just sitting there, they're just sitting there tasting the water. Uh, so when they find what they're looking for, they'll come up out of log jam as the current sends the scent back through there. Uh, and hit the hit the bait. So I have a bite here. Um, so that's basically it. So we're hopping from log jam, log jam. We'll do that all day. We'll keep going down uh, until we find what they're looking for, whether it's fast current, slack water. First fish we got was in 12 foot of water and a pretty fast current. For this section of the river, 12 foot's pretty deep. So that might be an indicator. So I'll pay attention to that. Stay tuned. Hopefully we get another fish on here for you. Nice fish. Nice fish. Really nice fish. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Big old fish. Maybe a 20 pounder.
Catch the catch, boys. Here you go. Seeing it. That's why I got 25 pound test for fish like this. This is a monster catfish. Let's see if I can do this by myself. So much easier with some help. This fish is nowhere near ready yet. Oh, oh, almost got it. Almost got it. Almost got her. She's ready now. Got it. Got it. Holy cow, it's a big fish. Oh. Oh, yeah. There we go, gentlemen. There we go. That is a 25 pound channel right there. Every bit. Look at the size of this fish. Holy smokes. What size is this fish, guys? Oh, yeah, baby. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and let him go now. There he goes. Awesome. fish this one is just doing what it wants oh yeah it's a big old channel big old channel Just about done. So no pushing them. Look at the head on that thing. This might be bigger than the last one. Got him. Got him, I think. Oh. This might be bigger than the last one. Oh. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Wow. Look at that, guys. Another stud catfish. Look at this, guys. Look at this stud. 20 pounder. That's what I'm talking about. Alright, here are pictures. Let's let this bad boy go. Maybe. Maybe. Let's get a length on it. This fish is thirty, just shy of thirty-six inches. Say thirty-five. Okay. Okay. Big old beautiful blue channel cat. There he goes, kicked off good. Yes. So we've been out here an hour. 
and we got about 50 pounds of catfish already catch to catch you don't need to buy bait except maybe wax worms buddy <laughs> well we just reeled in our second uh huge channel catfish uh that one measured just shy of 36 inches weighed in at just over 20 pounds uh, i tell you what man i don't know where else you can go in michiana besides the great lakes that you can catch 20 pound fish in the current uh, it's been a blast again uh, my my meth is really simple this is catch to catch so we went out and we caught our bluegills on the river you guys saw that part of the video uh, we came out here and again we're running uh, really heavy action rods I mean this is a bank stick it's just kind of a cheap catfish rod and then that's also an ugly stick the white one cheap catfish rod ambassador 6500 reels if I ever go see you and uh, we're running 25 pound big game the current's a little quicker than I thought it'd be out here so we're actually running uh, three ounces of weight on the one on the baits that are further out in the current so three ounces of weight about 18 24 inch leader uh, a big circle hook circle hooks a key gotta have a circle hook when I say circle hook I'll show you what they look like they look like that and they got to be heavy gauge and I can't tell you enough uh, circle hook is the key to catching these fish I'm not setting the hook on these fish in fact you don't want to set the hook with a circle hook they hook themselves so this is pretty much self-contained you put the bait out you let it sit there in the current the current does the work for you push it smell the blue go back to the log jams and the pits that these fish are in uh, and then the fish come out eat it and when they take off with it the circle hook is working itself in and every one of these catfish have been hooked well right in the corner of the mouth easy to release uh, besides the flathead i caught that one uh, ate it all the way down its belly but i cut the line um, been awesome and what can I say catch a catch video is success let's see if we can get a couple more on uh, on his rods and uh, give you guys a little more action stay tuned fish on got him got him got him alright what do we got here what do we got here I especially even knows he's hooked yet has no clue he's hooked yet. He's just running upstream. Look at him, he's about to go in front of the boat. Nice little flathead. Nice little flathead. Nice little flathead. Come on, come on. He was hungry, wasn't he? Oh, all right, flathead number two. Beautiful. Let's take a look at what we got here. Hooked perfect. You guys can see that right in the corner of the mouth. And just perfect. Comes right out. Fish is no worse for wear. Nice St. Joe River flathead. There it goes. Now look at the size of bait that fish just ate. That's what I'm talking about. These guys with this little dip bait and whatnot, I'm sure those work, but I tell you, nothing works better out here, in my opinion, than a chunk of bluegill like that. That bait sat out there for about 15 minutes before it got bit. guys that concludes my uh, day on the water the catch to catch was a success and hopefully you guys enjoyed the video um, again subscribe and hit the like button I would really appreciate it thank you so much and I'll see you guys again